Hello, welcome. I'm going to take a look at 2XL. This is a robot toy from Megacorp. It was released in 1978. And as you can see on the box, it says the robot with a personality. He does interact when you play. See, a couple kids having a great time. The back of the box looks about the same as the front, but it does point out no batteries necessary. It does plug into an outlet. And on the front of, or on the top of my box, I doubt you'll be able to see it here. There's this price tag that I mean, it doesn't say much, but $69.99. So I gotta believe that's probably the original retail. Although I think my parents bought this in 1980. They made it through 1981. And they did a slight redesign. Although the box is from 1978. You can tell the eyes look different. The original had kind of like a mirror eye with a little red light next to it. And this model has the full red eyes. And these do blink quite a bit when he's talking. Kind of center him here in the frame. So, he takes 8-track cartridges, is what they call them, but, you know, they're cassette tapes. They just go in here. Oh, your standard 8-track. Now, I've got a variety of tapes. This one is Exercise with 2XL. So, this one has a global appeal, I guess, is more or less for all ages. So it is an educational toy, but it's not really just for kids. I'm going to take a look at this when I turn it on. This is TV and movie challenges. Some of them, like one's just doing a maze in the instruction book it came with, which, yeah, that would be geared toward kids. But the trivia, yeah, I don't think kids would have known this, even in, you know, 1980. Obviously, the questions at this time are going to be quite old, because this is 40 years old. This one, believe this or not, show you a variety of what I have. I don't certainly don't have all of them. This one is Storyland, 2XL, and the Time Machine. Talking Calculator and Number Game. This one just says General Information. The Basics of ABCs. This one I'm thinking came with it. It says it comes with a cartridge. I do not have the manual that would probably say which cartridge was included, but you can see it's got a fairly generic label with the big 2XL, so most likely this was the included one. It's called Fairy Tale Quiz. You have preschool facts and fantasies. Reading, writing, and arithmetic. And this last one is called Trilex. This is a game that you play with 2XL rather than, you know, questions or little activities. I do have the manual for this. So, as you can see, there's some kind of attachment, which I do not think I have any longer. And it attaches to the front of him. It has a little game you play. To me, it looks somewhat similar to a tic-tac-toe or Connect Four type of game, where you're trying to match these, you know, black or white little, I guess, plastic discs. Try to line them up. I also have a list of other cartridges that you can buy, and. See, there's sports, Guinness Book of World Records, astronomy, a variety of different things. And on the back, you can also see some that would definitely be geared toward adults. One called Adult Games and Puzzles, and another one, 50s and 60s Nostalgia. Each cartridge also comes with a manual, but I've only got a few of the manuals. Sometimes you do need these to play. He'll tell you to turn to a certain page, and then you, know, you can do the activity while he waits. 
or some of them will just ask you the question and want you to answer right away. Now, if you write in the book, then <laughs> you're kind of one and done, and it would help to photocopy and, or write on a separate sheet of paper. I think my sister wrote in these. This doesn't look like my handwriting in here. But some of them are written in. Like I said, though, I only have five of them. Or I guess I have six. But some need the manual, some don't. But I'm sure I'm missing some because they must have all come with a manual. You might know 2XL from a later release. In 1992, Tiger Electronics did release a redesign. It's a bit more modern and round, like his head is round. And he took cassette tapes rather than 8-track tapes. They also had a game show called Pick Your Brain that had a large version of 2XL on the stage, and the host, Mark Summers, interacted with them. So you could be familiar with that 2XL. This just happens to be the original, but they're more or less the same type of thing. So before I turn them on, I want to point out, I do have the microphone set a little lower than usual, so you may have had to turn up the volume to hear me, I'm not sure. But when I turn him on, I have to put the volume on max because the knob has some issues where you just can't hear them anywhere else. I took it apart. I don't know. Everything was hooked up fine. I, I just don't know how you make that sound better. But it's something I've encountered before in old radios as well. So, like, when the knob... Well, he won't go on without a cartridge. So, like, I'll have to turn it all the way up. You can jiggle it sometimes to get the sound to come back on. But, I don't know. It's not going to be perfectly clear. And you might get some really annoying noise. <laughs> Just a warning, it's the best I can do. But that's why I turned the mic down so it's not too loud, hopefully. I'm gonna stick TV and movie challenges in. And just kinda go with wherever it is. Now, these tapes, like, they're not in a specific order. Like, sometimes I'll be in the middle of the activity. And I'm probably gonna edit some things out. Like I said, sometimes he'll want. It'll give you like two minutes to do an exercise, so I'll just edit that out so you don't have to just sit here <laughs> listening to the music for two minutes. Alright, so it's going to be a little staticky. Uh, just a warning. Alright, so I'm probably going to have to edit right here because obviously stuck in the middle of giving you time. By the way, do you know why fish are so well educated? Because you usually find that in schools. <laughs> I'm sorry. Question number 18. Which is this a commercial for? Plap, plap, fizz, fizz. Oh, what a relief it is. Is that a commercial for A. Anison, B. Dufflin, or C. Alka Seltzer? Answer A, B, or C now. Ooh, excuse me. Good work. Plop, plop, fizz, fizz is a commercial for Alka Seltzer. You are right. That is good for you. I would now like to check your memory banks. Remember before I gave you a code word to remember. I'd like to know what your code word was. Here are three choices. A. French toast. B. Salad. Or C. Tomato. Answer A, B, or C now. Well, I have no idea on this one. Thanks. I appreciate that. I now have a question for you about the Lone Ranger. I'd like to know what type of ranger the Lone Ranger was. I will give you 15 seconds to think about this, and we'll provide a little music for your thinking abilities. He does play a lot of music, and he does tell a lot of jokes. It's all entertaining, though, especially for a kid. Because it feels like he's talking Playing to you. everything. I just remembered something. I asked you a question about the Lone Ranger before. Let me check my long-distance memory banks to see how you did. Do not choose an answer. Just wait. <laughs> Very 
very interesting. My memory banks remind me that on that previous question on the Lone Ranger, way back there when I asked you question five, you were right. You gave me the correct answer about the Lone Ranger. So I hope you get this one right also, and then you will have all the questions on the Lone Ranger correct. Before I give you the question, please push the question button now. Sometimes you have to do that just to reset the answer buttons. Thank you for pushing the question Please button. The I do appreciate you buttons. following my instructions. Okay, here is your question. True or false? The Lone Ranger was a Kentucky Ranger. Answer true or false now. So the C button is the false button, whereas A is the yes or true button. Very good work. You are very smart, and your finger is doing a pretty good job for you. You have answered true, and you are right. The Lone Ranger was not a Kentucky Ranger. He was a Texas Ranger. Good work. You have now completed the first program in my belly. If you'd like, you can just wait and follow instructions and try your finger at the second program in my belly. Or, if you are getting tired, you may turn me off now. All right, now... Try a different cartridge. See what's going on with the exercise of 2XL. You have answered C, beef, and you are correct. Beef is high in cholesterol. had a brother who thought he was a chicken. Being an eight That's track. right. For six months this went on, he thought he was a chicken. Finally, I brought him to a doctor, and the doctor said, why did you wait six months before you brought your brother to me? I said, what are you, nuts? I needed the eggs. <laughs> being an 8-track, I hit the question button, I think it reset Let it to a different review track. I give you some tips on diet. One, be sure to meet your human needs of protein, vitamins, and minerals. Two, maintain a proper weight. This is important for the well-functioning human person. Three, avoid foods high in saturated fats and cholesterol. Four, eat less total fats and try to substitute margarine and foods that are polyunsaturated instead. If you are a robot, be polite and friendly to human beings and consume about 50 milliamps of electricity an hour. Also, stay out of water. Let us now talk about the area of exercise. How many hours do you think per year human beings spend sitting on their fanny? Wait, wait, hold everything. I want to check my memory banks. My memory banks show that the last question I asked you, which was one minute and 57 seconds ago, about beef or veal, you got correct. And I wish you good luck with this question coming up. I will repeat this question. How many hours do you think human beings spend sitting on their fannies per year? Here are two choices. A. 1,000 hours. Or C. 3,000 hours per year. Answer A or C now. This is apparently an area you know something about. You are right. Americans do spend about 3,000 hours a year each sitting on their fannies. What makes this figure amazing to us robots is that this is about one half of all waking hours of humans. If you think about it, however, driving cars, traveling on trains, watching TV, eating meals, reading, etc., 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 are all done while you are sitting. Therefore, half of your life while you are awake, you spend sitting. This is not good. Exercise is what you people need, and you better get out there and do some exercise. Here is a question showing the relationship between exercise and calories. How many excess calories do you think equal one pound of body weight? Here are two choices. A, 2,000 calories, or C, 4,000 calories. Answer A or C now. 
I already had the C button pushed in, so I'm not really sure. For a special announcement, let's matters. shift to our newsroom in the big city of Tuscaloosa. This is a bulletin from News Central. Toy Robot 2XL was asked today what he wants to be when he grows up. And 2XL replied, I want to be a vitamin. Asked why anyone wants to be a vitamin when they grow up, 2XL replied, I don't know. I walked into this drugstore and on a sign it said vitamin B1, so I figured I would. So I think I messed up on the exercise tape and I, I don't know, sometimes I don't quite understand how you reset the buttons. I guess it doesn't always tell you, sometimes it tells you to hit this question button, you know, to pop out the other buttons, but sometimes it doesn't. So the button you want to press is already pressed in. I think you kind of just have to like do a half button to pop the other ones out. So he lost the calorie question and went, you know, off track there. And... So I'm going to jump to the general information tape. I just wanted to point out the speaker is over here in the back. I forgot to show that before. This will be the last tape I take a look at. Just do a couple questions or activities, whatever he has. I will sleep while you do this. I was up late at the factory. You have opened your little booklet to page 5. Please notice on page 5, there is a game called Find a Word. Also notice, there are 10 words on top of the page. I would like you to find those 10 words in the letters below. I have done the first two to show you how this works. I want you to turn me off, work at your own pace, and find those 10 words in the puzzle below. Please turn me off now so it's just a word search this general information has a lot of little activities in the booklet like crosswords i will not test you on your work but i will tell you that the correct mazes. answer is on page eight in your little booklet if you like you may turn me off now and study the answer if you like please turn me off now for question number 10 i will do something quite complicated for a robot i will give you two questions if you get the first one right I'll make the second one more difficult. If you get the first one wrong, I'll make the second one easier. But first, I'd like to give you a choice of subjects for this first question only. After all, I want to give your biological brain a fighting chance against my advanced and cute electronic brain. If you would like a question about the TV show Charlie's Angels, push A. If you would like a question about the TV show Happy Days, push B. Or if you would prefer a more intellectual question about astronomy, push C. Please push A, B, or C now. Since you have pushed B, I will be a good little robot and obey and ask you a question about happy days. You all know that Henry Winkler plays the funds, but I would like to know what the funds' his first name is on the show. I will be nice enough to give you three choices to help you along. Is your answer A, Arthur, B, Michael, or C, Richie? Please, if you don't mind, answer A, B, or C now. <laughs> Thank you. 
said there i'm thinking this is actually the uh tape that came with it rather than the fairy tale quiz fairy tale doesn't have any artwork on it but since it's general information and he just gave an overview that he sells other or other tapes are available and based on this booklet being pretty wide variety and it has like a, a setup picture on the, the first page this probably is the one that came with it all right so before i end the video I did want to mention he is actually an 8-track music player as well. And I just happen to have an 8-track tape. <laughs> this is the Beatles Magical Mystery Tour. So, thank you for watching and I will close it out.